hey, it's like a hundred. It's, it's so hot, and it's really, really humid. But we got work to do, so we're gonna get her done. Thanks. If you're making a painting and you're gonna try to sell it and claim that it's art, you better have a, a perfectly straight and square canvas or you're off to a bad start. Um, that means getting your angles that you cut proper. It's important to have your canvas be lightweight and it's gotta be strong. It, it's almost impossible to, to pull a canvas off, restretch it on a new one, and have it be nice and tight. Um, so you, you want to get it right the first time. If you're claiming it's art and it's on a bent, you know, it just doesn't jive. The ev image is absolutely everything. Your presentation is everything. I go into the lumber yard and I'll pull out their entire stock of select pine and I'd sit and eye it up and see if it's straight and I'll go through 50 boards to get five, six straight ones. So, you, uh, I have two boards, one's beveled, so the canvas will come straight across when it's tight and your brush won't hit this edge and leave a line down your canvas. I'll screw that all together, then I'll build a structure that again has to be set back um, so the brush won't hit it. And then I will roll out raw canvas and you, you work your way out from the center. So you start by stapling here, stapling here, stapling here, stapling here. Then you come back and you work your way out to the corners. So boom, 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 until you get to the corners. And then you just do some kind of nice little pretty fold and staple it back however you want. Then you cover the raw canvas with gesso. You have to do that because oil paint will rot raw canvas. And if you want your painting archival, you got to coat it with gesso. Gesso then will it's just white paint, basically. It's got a nice tooth to it, it's beautiful. But the, uh, the gesso will tighten up that canvas like a drum head. And it can go so far as to snap your stretcher. Gesso. <laughs> <laughs> you can I usually put about three layers of gesso on a canvas some people will take time to start sanding the gesso in between layers after you get a couple on there and then they'll build it up and you can get your surface to be really smooth <laughs> 